Most of the time when I use photos in my images, they are overlays, as in you can see the underlying painting and there's texture on top. But sometimes it makes the most sense to actually just use an entire chunk of a photo, no underpainting at all. This is what we talk about in part four. And the reason I've devoted an entire hour to it is because it's dangerous. Do it wrong and it'll stand out like a sore thumb. So I'm gonna teach you how to do it right. In this case, what that means is carefully cutting out images and then modifying them to match the light in your image. And I don't say this often, but this is one aspect of painting that really doesn't require drawing. The skills we're using here will be familiar to a photo retoucher or a matte painter, and they're really methodical. This is something that you can practice and master. But when we're talking about achieving realism, it might only be one small part of the equation, but I think mastering this goes a long way towards improving your paintings.